In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change an image on Hover and also how to swap between multiple images on Hover as well. Now, I know that I've done a video on this in the past, but a lot of you guys had some questions. And also, I wanted to clean up my code using jQuery and make it a lot more simple. So this is why I'm redoing this video. So as you can see, whenever I hover over this element here, the image is going to change. And also, I know that some of you guys were wondering how to add multiple elements with the same hover effect. And as you can see, we have two of them here, this one and then this one. And then I also added, as a bonus, a way to have this hover and then swap between multiple images. And that's basically what we're going to be doing in this video. So hopefully you guys do find it helpful. If you do, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you guys really enjoy. So let's go ahead and begin here. Go ahead and add a section. And then drag your image. And let's just add our default image in here. I'm going to use this image here. Now go into Advanced, go into CSS Classes, go ahead and type in Image dash Hover. Now go into your custom code under Elementor Custom Code. Go ahead and click on Add New. Go ahead and name your custom code. We're going to call it Change Image on hover and your location should be the body and always load jQuery. Now go ahead and paste your jQuery that I've provided in the description. Now as you can see we're targeting our image hover class and inside of that we're targeting our image tag and we're having this activate on hover and then once you hover this it's going to go ahead and change um, the current object that you're hovering, which is this, and it's going to change its source set. Otherwise, if you hover out, it's going to go ahead and go back to the default image here. So we need to go ahead and add our hover image and then our default image when you hover out. So go back to your Elementor editor and let's go ahead and click our image, or you can go into your media library. We just need to go ahead and grab the image link. So go ahead and click on here. And this is our default image, so we're going to copy the URL. We're going to paste it down here. So whenever someone hovers out, this is the image you're going to see. And whenever someone hovers on the image, it's going to change to this one here. So we're going to copy the link. And then we're going to paste it right in between these single quotes. And then we're going to go ahead and click Publish. We're going to publish this to our home page, which is singular and then we're going to do front page. Now of course you can go ahead and do, you can target your pages and then choose your page but I'm going to do front page and then we're going to click save and close. Now I'm going to hit publish or update and then I'm going to go ahead and preview this. Then if I scroll down and we test this out, you notice that it's going to change the image on hover. Now I know that some of you were asking in my last image hover video how we can have multiple elements hover. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do that as well. It's very simple. What we're gonna do actually is just, we're gonna duplicate this one, hit copy. You know what, we might as well just copy the entire section and then we're gonna just paste it um, right here, it's fine. And we're gonna change the image to a different one. Uh, let's do this one here, or yeah, let's do this one. It's going to be our default image. And let's make sure that we change, it's very important that we change the CSS class. And we're going to do a dash 2. Okay. So, and we're going to hit update. And then we're going to go back to our custom code. And instead of creating a new one, we're just going to add it onto the script here. Now what we're going to do is just copy what's inside of the script and then just paste it right under the script and there we go. And actually, 
me go ahead and just change this. And maybe we can call it um, change image hover to or something. Okay, so now we need to just um, adjust our image hover class. We're going to do image dash hover dash two. There we go. Now, of course, we don't want to use the same images, so we're going to remove the image URL here. And we're going to grab our default image. So let's click on our image here. Let's copy this. Let's give it our default image. Oops. Let's make sure we copy this correctly. And then paste it inside your single quotes. And then now, let's go ahead and add the image that we want to hover to. Uh, let's do this one here. Copy. And then let's paste it right in here. There we go. Let's hit update. So let's see if this first one is working. And it is. Now let's see if the second one is working. And there we go. So you can tell it's working perfectly. And we don't have a problem. Obviously, it's a different size image, and that's why we see that switch in height. Okay, now the last thing I want to go over is how you can swap between multiple images whenever you hover um, on your object here. So I have a different code for you, but it's basically the same one. We're just adding a set timeout, and then we're just changing the image. So um, we're going to just add it onto this one. But uh, we're going to we need to just create a new section. I'm going to copy the section here, and then I'm just going to paste it right uh, down here. That's fine. Let's actually do this one here. Okay. Now, I'm going to go into my image here. I'm going to go into advanced. And instead of image hover, let's call it swap dash images. Okay. Now go ahead and hit update. Now go into your custom code. And right under this script here, we're just going to paste another one. And I'm just going to paste my script under here. But in case you weren't using this top one here, you can just delete it if that's something that you wanted and then just have this script. But I'm going to have all of them here. Okay. So inside this script, we're going to first change our class here. And we're going to call it, um, what did we call it actually? Swap images. So we're going to do swap dash images. And then um, we're going to give this, this a variable of selector, just so then inside our set timeout, which is a function, we can go ahead and access um, our this. And basically our this is the current object that we're hovering. OK. Um, and then I've already kind of went over um, everything else. As in, I already went over this part here. So you guys should know it's just changing um, the image and we're giving a set timeout with a function and of 300 milliseconds and then the next one is going to be 600 milliseconds so um, obviously this is going to be our first image that it hovers our second one our third one and then the one down here is going to be our um, our default whenever we hover out which is our mouth out that's why I have it set right here where it says mouse over which whenever we hover it's going to swap between these images and then whenever we hover out, it's going to go back to the default. So let's go ahead and grab our URLs here. Let's click on this one. And let's change our default image, first of all. Let's go ahead and choose this image, this image here. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it right here for my default. And I'm going to set it as my main image. It's very important. And then I'm going to grab, let's see, let's grab this one here. And if you're wondering why I'm highlighting this instead of this, it's because our copy URL clipboard was not working properly. So that's why I'm doing it that way. So this is going to be our first image that we're going to hover. And then the second one, it's going to swap to this image after that. And the next one's going to be this one here. And we're all set. Now let's just set it to our default image. 
which I believe was this one here. There we go. Now we're going to hit update. Now let's go ahead and preview this. So our first hover effect is working. Our second one is working as well. And then our third one should be working. So we encountered some little issues here and they're very easy to resolve. So basically we can't really have two scripts next to each other um, in the same custom code area here. So what we need to do is either remove the first one and just have one of them or what we can do is just add our script here inside this other one and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to paste it right under here and then I'm going to remove the second one so we only have one script tag. So let's go ahead and hit update. Now of course if you just have one of the scripts then you're not really going to have a problem. But regardless you can just use this method anyway. So let's go to refresh our page here and then let's test this out. So we have our first one working and our second one's working and then our third one is also working as well. So if you do want to adjust the speed of the, of the image swap, you can do it down here. So the first one we can see that it's a 300 milliseconds, but if you want it slower, you can do 600. And instead, for the third one, you can do 900. So this is just adjusting um, the duration in case you guys wanted to do that. But I'm going to leave it as is, and I will provide these codes down in the description so you guys can go ahead and use them. If you guys have any questions, just feel free to comment down below, and I'll try to help you guys out. Thanks for watching.